Hello everyone, in this tutorial uh, I'm going to show you how to return the date part only from a SQL uh, server date time data type. Let me explain what I mean. So if I do new query, select get date and then run this query. As you can see, I get a date time data type, which has the date part and the time part. What I want is a way to get only the date part from a date time data type. So that's what we want to do in this tutorial. If we take, for example, the AdventureWorks uh, sample database, let's expand this, go to tables, and look for the uh, person or employee uh, table which is this one okay I'm looking for a uh, date time data type higher date is just date uh, no time with it okay let's try another table maybe product okay maybe on the product table it has uh, this column cell start date okay let me remove the extra uh, columns just to make the query a little bit uh, simple to manipulate okay so let's say we want to extract the date part from this uh, column cell start date so there are different ways to do this one way is to use the convert function so let's say convert to date the column cell uh, uh, sorry not end date but rather start date let me remove this so convert to date cell start date as uh, for example cell start date 1 let's run this so as you can see cell start date 1 has only the date part so we use the convert to date and then the column name another way to do this is to use the cast function so the syntax is cast column name as date and then give it a name as cell start date 2 so let's run this again and as you can see uh, cell start date 2 also contains the date part of this date time uh, column so there you go these are two ways to uh, extract the date part of a date time data type in SQL server using the functions convert and cast I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching